What's up guys? Welcome to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach and today we are back with more Small Saga. That's right. Now in the last episode we defeated the Kraken in the sewers on our way to the streets of Murida, where we find ourselves on this shipping district of right now. So let's jump right in. Clear out of here punks. We got merch to move. All right. All right. What do you have to say? You came here through the service tunnel, you absolute plonkers. But hey, I guess you survived. Welcome to Murida. All right, he called us plonkers, which I don't think that was very nice, but you know what? Maybe we were a bit of a plonker, so. All right, let's go up these stairs, see what there is to see. Simon was ear. All right, let's go in here. What do we have, anything? Hey, found two seeds. Don't mind if I do. What do we got here? Ooh, found a spring onion. Damn, that's cool. What does that do? Oh, Stilton. What? Fucking Stilton, son of a bitch. All right, what well, we found? Uh, we found something to equip potentially, though. So let's see. Oh, instead of a bandage. Okay, stop. Heals eight, stops bleeding. Yeah, crunchy and nutritious. Heals five. Ooh, a bit strong to eat raw. Recovers two. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see what else. Oh yeah, if you can, if you guys can carry stuff, then absolutely. Yeah, you carry that and you carry that. Yeah. Oh no, she can only carry one. Okay, you carry that and then there we go. She'll carry both. <clears throat> she sometimes does things though. Hmm. We'll leave her with this. How about that? Yeah, we'll do that. <clears throat> All right, enough inventory management. We got 10 seeds. Let's go burn them. We got them burning a hole in my pocket already. The seeds are burning. All right, let's go. Into Murida. Oh. That's right, Liz. The statue of the city center. Which means this is where we part ways. I'm meeting but my friend. Then we're off to Sky Garden. Good luck, Bruce. Play their stockings off. Will do, and thanks for all the help. Hey, maybe we'll meet again sometime. Uh, I doubt it. I doubt it. Sir Verm, be nice. Ha, ah, classic Verm. Take care. Classic Verm, we've known each other for 30 minutes. I've got things to do here, too. I know, you're looking for leads on the Yellow God. Sir Verm, I want to help, and I'm, I'm not taking no for an answer. So I'm going to do some research at Merida's library. The library? Well, that's the best place to learn new things, right? There might be a book on the Yellow God. Makes sense, I guess. Books aren't my thing, so I'm heading to the Royal Palace. I bet the king knows a thing or two. Sir Verm, I don't think they let just anybody have an audience with the king. I didn't think of that. You reckon there's a booking system or something? Maybe? Whatever. I'll go find out. Let's split up and meet back here in a little while. Okay. All right. So we're leaving. We're splitting up with Siobhan. We're going to go see the king. What the fuck is this kid playing soccer? Playing soccer? Wish we had a little field or something. There's no room here. I'm going to be captain of the murder PC. Just you watch. All right. And who's this? Just done me some... Just done me shopping on the... The merchant court is so convenient. Okay, so are you on the way to the merchant's quarters? Is that what's this way? Merchant's quarters! Ho ho, yeah! Okay, selling wares. Got one to need food. Excuse me, you there! Are you looking to buy some delicious Fustock halibai? Uh, Fustock? Fustock? The most delicious nut, very nutritious and filling. Oh, pistachios. I've heard of one of these. I I've eaten one of these before. Um, uh, not like this. I personally ship them from my home overseas. Their flavor far surpasses the kind native to Murida. Rich and creamy, delicious by themselves, or ground into Goriba biscuit. You make a good pitch. How much? For you, seven seeds each. A bargain. Yeah, no, pass. No thanks. Oh, you drive a hard bargain? Okay, just this once. For you, I will cut the price. Five seeds. No. No, I'm, I'm honestly okay. Thank you. Okay, can't keep dropping the price. You're an excellent negotiator. So my final offer, four seeds. No, I really don't want any pistachios. I see. Well, sir, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Yeah, for four, not for seven. Fresh veg, get your fresh veg here. 
That's all he's, all he's yelling. All right. And what a... I once saw a god pick his nose and eat it. It was gross, but kind of humbling, you know. That's all. You're just standing here talking about that. And who the fuck are you? Murder is crumbling. Enjoy it while it lasts. You sound kind of like Bruce. <laughs> all right. What's in here? Oh, painters. I'm so proud of my Molly's creativity, but she gets through paints faster than I can make them. Say, perhaps you can help. Don't bother strangers for your errands, mother. Oh, he doesn't mind, do you, young man? Uh, no problem. It's just paint, right? Is there a craft supply shop in murder or something? If only. We have to make our own pigments from natural materials. To craft a perfect indigo, we first must pluck 40 petals from a hydrangea in full bloom. I don't have time for that. How about I just go nab some godly paint instead? That would be easy. Godly paint? Well, now, that really would be something. I wouldn't ask you to risk life and limb over paint, though. Uh, it's nothing. I have a nose for these things. Sit tight. I'll be back later. All right, new location has been added to my map. Uh-oh. Portraits are popular, but I'm trying to paint something new. Something different. Maybe we'll go on a paint... If you guys want to see a sidetracked paint mission, let me know. We can always go on a paint mission. Ooh, what did I find? Fuck. Added it to my wallet. Did I find seeds? Oh, yeah, I found a seed. Because I got 11 seeds now. All right, let's move on. Ooh, fa fashion. I'll take some fashion. What do we got? Oh, ho, ho. hey, you. See this fit? Yeah, I do. How do you rate it? Uh, 100 out of 10. Sure. Why not? 100 out of 10. It cannot be improved. You are the epitome of fashion. Aha, you flatter me. But that won't get you a discount. Still, you're clearly a man of good taste. Come talk to me when you're ready to shop. Uh, I am uh, all right, so I can help you look a fraction as cool as me. But it'll cost you. How much? Twelve seeds. Okay, but what exactly am I buying? You're buying my eye for fashion. I'll ask you some questions, take measurements, and make an outfit for you. What do you say? Twelve seeds. I can't quite afford that. Dude, I feel you, but I can't do discounts. Maybe come back when you got some seeds to burn. All right, let's go. For, oh, I need. I, I we need twelve seats. I need this dude to do a make makeover for me. That's just how it's got to be. We got to get a makeover. Got to get a makeover for twelve seats. Come on, guys. We need fashion. Oh, who are you? Ha ha! You. Who? You. You're late. I am. Uh. Are you not the apprentice I requested? I am! Oh, I knew it! Abazado, the merchant extraordinaire, has a great eye for these things. Listen well, my apprentice. There's a dock worker, Canard's Wharf, who has a package for me. Retrieve it, and I'll reward you with a seed or two. Uh, fine, whatever. A seed's a seed. Aha, but no peeking. If you peek at the package, then you shan't be paid even a threepence. All right. The wharf you said? That's not far at all. Yeah, let's go back to the wharf. Why not? Let's go do this. We have to hop back up here to talk to this guy anyway, so we can go across the ruler and see what's over there. This is cool. This whole big city to go look at. All right, let's go to the merchant's quarter. Let's go back down to the dock or whatever where we just were, right? Is it this guy? You got a package, right? Are you the guy? What guy? Uh, the guy with the box or something. I really wasn't paying attention. Ooh, I get it. Yeah, sure, I'm the guy. Mr. Abizado roped you into being his errand boy, didn't he? That happens sometimes. Well, here you go. It's just what that weirdo ordered. It was pain sneaking that thing through customs, so don't go dropping it now, you hear? Did it just give me a box? Do I just have a box? I do. I just, I don't even have a box. Uh, yeah, let's see. Trinkets? Is it in trinkets? Yep. You take a peek. There's a fat, wriggling white worm inside. Well, that's weird. Why'd you pick this up? Gross. Bug part. Sava's treasure map. <laughs> All right. So we got uh, we got the white worm, but we can't let him know that we have it. Why would he want that? Is this also a save point? Oh, nice. The giant stat rat angered the gods when he stole the secret of electricity. As punishment, he must hold an enormous weight until the end of time. So the shrew legend goes, at least. Ratless bears his burden, save your game. That's badass. Ratless. You're cool, dude. I want you on my team. Give me Ratless. Give me a giant rat god to defeat people. All right, let's go. 
I need like a big bruiser on my team. Like I need somebody big and beefy. Like I need a rat or something. Somebody like Sava was. All right, let's go talk to the weird Abazado guy. Oh, you brought it. But tell me, did you peek? Nope. Ah, so dependable, an admirable trait in an apprentice. You successfully completed the first task. Here's your paycheck, as promised. Damn, five seeds. Wait, first task? How many are there? I've got more important things to do, you know. Trivial worries, on to the second task. There's a weaver in Gutterend who ordered the same package, a blonde mouse named Connor. Deliver it to him and procure his payment. A weaver in Gutterend. That's easy enough. All right, don't know where Gutterend is. We'll find it sometime. But in the meantime, let's go pop around and look. Oh, what's this? The Taming of the Shrew, delayed due to plague. Oh no. I'm so bored. The Merchant's Quarter used to be bustling with life, but then we were hit with that plague. Okay, gee, yeah, that stinking plague. Oi, Sword Boy. You scared of spiders? Uh, nope. Nothing I can't handle. Why? Oh, no reason. Oh, shit. Oh, the spider room there. Oh, well, a spider squatter. Just shook his head. Oh, they're friendly. Cool. Don't mind me. Can I talk to you? No, you don't want to talk? Spider seems to be trying to communicate. Do they want something? Oh. Does... Does the spider want some food? Jeez. Offer the spider an insect part? Uh, yeah, alright. You offer the insect part. Whoa, 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 seeds! The spider throws ten seeds at you! Nice! Alright, cool, yeah. Offer the spider another insect part? Uh, I don't- you don't have any insect parts to offer. The spider sighs dejectedly. I'm sorry. I'll come back if I do, though. Now I got some money in my pocket. Let's go get, uh, let's go get fashioned up. Why don't we do that? I think it's time I get a fashionable outfit. Some drip, as he said. Let's go. Let's go get hip with drip. Alright, we're in. Okay, so now we just talk to him. What do you say? 12 seeds? Yeah, now I got 26? Fine, let's- fine, let's do this. Oh yeah! So, just a few short questions, you ready? Uh, hit me. Great, question Ichi. Should fashion always be practical? Uh... Yeah? That depends. I guess it doesn't always have to be, no. Depends. Interesting take. Okay, next. How many pairs of shoes do you own? Uh, a few? Fair enough. Okay, last one. This one's a toughie. Skinny or baggy jeans? Uh, normal? Alright, question time is over. I think I've got a good feel for the kind of fashion you're into. Let me just grab something special from around back. Alright, what do we got? Here, try this on. Received a chic jacket, alright. You're going to look hella dapper in your new threads, I swear. Safe travels and stay stylish. All right, let's pop this on. We got a new jacket? You kidding me? Ten toad for safety. It's plus four. What is this? Plus six and plus five health. Damn, makes me feel cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pop that on. I feel real fucking cool in my chic jacket, man. That's badass. All right, now let's go to... Oh, I can't equip anybody else with anything yet because they're not in my party right now. Let's go down here. What do we got? Oh. Commit no nuisance. Well, he looks like he's committing some nuisance. Are you a bat? Psst. Hey, kid. Want to buy something? Oh, Susan. Special? Uh, what you got? Hmm. You're a fighter, right? So how about a berserker mushroom? The water voles of Scanvik eat them before battle. True facts. One mushroom's eight seeds. Interested? Yeah, I'll take one. All right, let's do this. You received an odd mushroom. Was, was this transaction legal? Pleasure doing business. I've been peddling bric-a-brac to save up for uni. I want to be a lore master someday. All right, Susan. Hey, I found three seeds in there. Good doing business with you, Susan. Oh, who are you? Artura Street. Whoa, this place is huge. Young King Titans Borders. A win for the people. Hmm, one can't help but wonder. Oh, is there a needle in that haystack? <laughs> That's funny. Can I just go in these houses? Yeah, I can just walk in anybody's house. Cool. Hello, child. Dad's working late again. Wait, what you got there? My sword? No, not that stupid thing. That piece of paper. Is it a drawing? This? It's a map. Can't make whisker nor tail of it, though. Whoa, cool, it's got an X, just like it's marking some pirate's treasure. 
Uh, sure, it's just like that. It looks like the maps of the kingdoms I've seen in school. That big blue squiggle is the King's River, and Murda's over there, just next to it. But the X is way over there in the northeast. Oh, right, so north is up. Did you miss a class in school or something? I never went. Whoa, lucky? A <laughs> new location's been added to your map. Damn, she told me another place that that treasure might have been. It's a kid's drawing. You have no idea who these people are. <laughs> All right. You found two seeds, but I can take their seeds, though. <laughs> Thanks, little girl. Sorry, don't tell your parents I or tell your parents I was here. I don't know. I hope your parents aren't alarmed by my presence. The gods above us never stopped hooting and jeering. It makes us hard to get some shut eye. Right? Yeah, that's true. They won't shut the fuck up. All right, let's go. Let's go. Ooh, what do you got? This cube cost me two thousand seeds a month, and it doesn't even come with a loo. Oh, that sucks. Hey, I found four seeds. Oh, hey, you're good at robbing people. Ever thought about being a landlord? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I know. I just, I just ro yeah, At least somebody called it out. What? Sniff, strive, squeak. <laughs> That's good. Like live, laugh, love. Good stuff. All right, let's go up here. Talk to this kid. Come here, kid. You're walking around back and forth. Ooh, book nook. That's cool. Is that the library? Out of my way, nerd. Shoom. It's just running. That's it. <laughs> bubbles. All right, bubbles. Oh, this is cool. I keep telling people this isn't a library, and yet people come in just to stand around reading our books. <laughs> I come here just to smell the books. Hmm, love that new book scent. All right, that's all he's got to say. What do we got? La Fontaine's Fables. We got Brachiomachia, Back, or Batrachonomachia, and then Wind in the Willows. All right, all the classics. Oh, what the fuck, you got a plague doctor there? You see a book titled James Ascent, Loremaster Tobin. Read it. When the flames of the Great Fire Trial grew beyond control, the Imperial soldiers were the first f were the first to scatter and flee, leaving the murdered Meridium citizens to a blazing demise. But then, a mouse peasant called Artura stepped forward. She rounded up a dozen of her peers, James, Vesruvius, and Grace the Red among them, and demonstrated how to fashion a smoke-proof mask from a thimble and a dampened cloth. The group set to work, putting out the fires and directing others to safety. The fire consumed Meridium and much of Rodentia. However, thanks to Artura's quick and selfless actions, thousands of lives were saved from horrific demise. In the following days, once the ash had settled and the tears had been shed, the people of Meridium nominated Artura to lead the city as the first in a new line of monarchs, but she declined the offer, nominating James the Black Rat in her stead. Thus, James was crowned as the first king of Rodentia, with Artura serving as both blade master and founder of the aptly named Thimble Guard. One of the ashes of Meridium, the modern city of Merida, was constructed. Since James crowning the Blue Rat monarchy has reigned over Rodentia for th over 300 years, why exactly Artura declined the throne will have perhaps forever be a mystery. Interesting. Very interesting. That was good lore. A cell sword? Shoo. I have no time for you. Aquila. Alright, interesting. But there's no books here that I really need to read. You see a book titled The Moonlight Mystery? It looks dark. We'll put it back. We we'll, won't we'll, we'll read. You, you guys can go read the- if you guys want to read The Moonlight Mystery, go get Small Saga. It's an amazing game. That's my pitch for the game. It's worth going and getting just to read that, that book, I can guarantee you. This game is amazing. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, that's a big shoe. They got some fighters up there or something. This is like the slums. It's all quiet in Gutter Inn today. Let's hope it stays that way. Hey, Gutter Inn's where I need to deliver a package. Don't mind me, just taking a break from the youngins. All 14 of them. Now run along, scamp, before I put the boots to you. Haha, <laughs> just pulling your whiskers. Alright. I'm looking for somebody. Are you the person I'm looking for? You look like one of Bruce's friends. Psh, the guards ain't so tough. Just a bunch of toffs playing soldier. All right, cool. The guard are a real pain in the, in the tail. Can barely leave my shack without being stopped and searched. What are you guys doing that you need to be stopped and searched all day for? Oh. Yeah, hey, I live in a shoe. It stinks. But the rent is an absolute bargain. All right, Schobert. You know what? Yeah, do your thing, man. Lives in a shoe. But the rent's a bargain. What are you going to do about it? Push that soap off on that guy. Take him out. Take him down a peg. Did I press that? No. Vies or V's? Whoa, you got a little restaurant here? 
Welcome, Mouse. Welcome to my humble little restaurant. Tell me, do you appreciate the fine pleasure of gourmet cuisine? Eh, food's all right, I guess. Ah, you're a mouse who only eats food for nutrition. Understandable, but you're missing out on so much. If you bring me rare ingredients, I can craft dishes that transcend the usual murder and swill. I can make the food of the gods. All right, shit, he can make some god food, okay. But what dish to start with? Hmm, perhaps a delicate nut flour cookie with just a hint of rose water. Bring me a pistachio and I shall make for you goriba. Oh, that dude had goriba for like four, right? We need to do that. We need to go get the stuff. Yep, that's what we're doing. We're going to get the pistachio, we're getting the gariba, and we're coming back. That guy's fishing for junk up there. Alright, let's get the gariba. Gotta go buy a seed, move out of my way, bubbles. We're going to purchase a seed, I haven't been able to talk to the king, I'm getting distracted by pistachio salesman. Yeah, I'm back. Damn it. The mouse is back, only four seeds. Yeah, sounds good, I'll take one. Thanks, it's been quite a pleasure doing business with you. All right, let's go. Oh, and then there's what, whatever that is, a little cafe. We'll go in there later, we'll go in there later. All right, let's go. Move, Bubbles, you're slow. All right, Carla's Carpentry. All right, we're going up here. Yep, that's right, we're going up here. Hup. All right, easy peasy. Gonna run across. Bring in that pistachio. Come on. Here's your pistachio. Excellent. It smells divine. You must have traveled far to procure it. A uh, guy was selling him up the road. Such humility. Ten seconds, if you please. Vi works some almond flour into a paste, then adds crumbs of pistachio and a single drop of rose water. He bakes the dough with a blazing wood oven, and a aroma of sweet and floral biscuits fills the air. Voila! Goriba! You received a goriba cookie. It smells divine. What next? Hmm. Perhaps a hearty steamed vegetable dumpling with a sesame dip. Bring me a peanut and a spring onion and I will make for you. Uh, don't I have that? Here's your spring onion and peanut. <laughs> Magnificent! A moment if you please. Vi fries the spring onion in a drop of sesame oil along with a paw full of vegetables and some soy sauce. He pours the mixture onto a sheet of dough and carefully folds it into a ball and then... Whoa! That's a lot of steam. Voila! Boisi. You received a bo boisi? It smells divine. Next, I want to try to make my magnum opus, the ultimate dish. See, I had a dream once. A dream of a forbidden food. A food not even the gods would dare to make. A cookie base encompassing a salad, all in the shape of a paw. Picture it, dessert and greens, all in one. That sounds odd. Dream big, my friend. But I'll need something special for this to work. Bring me high quality chocolate, and I will make for you the King's Paw. Right, I need high quality chocolate for that. Don't know where I'm gonna find it. But maybe we'll find it on our adventures. Who knows, maybe we'll... Oh wait, can I jump in here? Oh, that's cool. I'm the Meta Mouse, and you're in the Meta House. Got any questions about metagaming? I'm your mouse. What you wanna know? Uh, Berserk. For most characters, Berserk boosts attack damage by 50%, but for Berserkers, it works a bit differently. They hit twice with every strike, effectively dealing 100% more damage. So don't settle for good-natured swings. Get mad. Get real angry, baby. What you want to know? Uh, effect stacking. Most status effects don't get more effective the more they stack. So a creature with three Berserk will do as much bonus damage as a creature with one Berserk. There are two exceptions to this. One, bleeding. The higher the bleeding number, the more damage you'll take each turn. Two. Charge. Load up a fire wand with three or four charges, and baby, you got a massive damage potential on your paws. What you want to know? Move damage. Some attacks hit harder than others, but it can be tricky to calculate just how much harder because you got to factor in enemy defense. For a high defense enemy, is it better to go with lots of small attacks or one big attack? That's for you to work out. All right. Defense break makes the recipient take 50% more damage. Attack break makes the recipient deal 33% less damage. Simple as. What you want to know are immiscible items. Ooh, hey, hey, yeah, they're immiscible items. There's even one right behind that door. But my advice, don't sweat it. Just do your thing. A mouse could go crazy trying to play a game perfectly, you know. That's all I got. I'll leave you be. All right, there's one behind the door. The door's locked tight. What's behind that door? <laughs> That's a secret. All right, I'd like to get in. 
can I ask you? What's behind the door? Oh, <laughs> yeah, there, Miss Bladim. There's one right behind that door. My advice tells sweat. Okay, so yeah. All right. All right, fine. I won't sweat it. I won't sweat it. We'll go back upstairs. Maybe I'll find a way to get in. Maybe the world will reward me. All right, let's head over here and see. Wait, what are you doing? You just got a bunch of trash? Cool. All right. There's a flute in there, you know. Wait, this leads to the gatehouse. The palace must be in the other direction. Okay, yeah, so we got to go back to the palace. Right. What's down here? All his kids? No. <sighs> I want to join the Thimble Guard someday. I could be a real hero, like Mathwell or Diego or Leo. But I can't afford the fees, so I'll stick with the family business. Fees? Wait, you have to pay a fee to join the guard? Sort of. You have to pay to get the proper certifications and equipment and stuff. It's not much for nobles, but it's quite a bit for us gutter folk. I see. Oh, I'm waffling. Did you want something? I think I'm supposed to give you this. Oh, yeah. I ordered this straight from Abazado. That mad merchant can get his paws on anything. Red tape be damned. Uh, what's exactly in the box? Oh, it's a silkworm. Nice. Uh, you're better off not knowing. Anyway, thanks a lot for the delivery. Uh, the payment? There's a small matter of the payment. Oh, haha. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I owe Abizado quite a few seeds for this, but I haven't got much on hand. I could offer him some of my best silk instead. Do you think that'll cover the cost? I doubt it. Abizado wanted seeds, not cloth. Oh, well, it's all I got. Whatever, I'll pass it on and see what he says. All right, I got a silk square. All right, I don't know what I'm going to do with a silk square, at least not yet, but... Let's keep moving. How many seeds do I have? Eleven, okay. So I got some... Got some seeds to play with. We got a little bit of a little bit of seeds in my pocket. Not too bad. Did I already go up here? Oh yeah, that was the guy who caught me stealing stuff. <laughs> Ooh. Be twisted tails. Like a, a pub? A little pub going on here? Hey, found three seeds though. Nice. Alright, let's go in here. See what there is. Ooh. I take requests. What are you in the mood for? Uh, something catchy. Something catchy? All right. Hope you're ready, because this little ditty is a real earworm. Friends, rodents, country mice, break up your ears and attend to this ditty of mine. Okay. Okay. And if it should please you to buy So he's got a, a little song he's singing. Let's go over here. What'll it be, friend? What do you recommend? How about the house special? Eight seeds for a pint. It'll put hair on your tail. Eight seeds? Uh, yeah, sure. Sounds good. I'll take one. Pint of special grog. Enjoy. But don't go trying to ride a god carriage while inebriated now, you hear me? All right, so we got quite a bit of things that I need to probably equip here, don't we? Oh, yeah, we got a lot. Uh, let's see. Button shield's pretty good. Up one defense. Soften absorbent and heals eight. Stops bleeding. Heals ten may have side effects. Heals ten may have side effects. <laughs> heals twenty. Damn. Flawless dumpling. Yeah, we got some good stuff here. Let's swap that out. What's the rush? Stay around a while. I'm waiting for my Lapa. He should be here any moment. Lapa? Where I'm from, it means paw, but it also means, how to say it, darling. Ah, got it. All right, cool. Looks like Bruce. Like like he would be danced up with Bruce. I think I'm being hustled. I'm hustling this sucker. <laughs> nice, yeah. Well, I can tell you are being hustled. <laughs> you are an aisle. Homeboy's singing over here. That's cool. That's a neat little feature to have it in there. Cool. The bard is lost in song. All right, yeah. That was cool. That's a neat little place. All right, let's go up here and go see if we can go meet the king, maybe. Let's go hold an audience with the king. That'll be what we... All 
right. Oh, the twisted tales. Sometimes. Oh, there's Bruce. I thought. Hey, the good old twisted tales. I cannot leave Anton waiting. Hey, I knew. I said that guy looked like he would be meeting Bruce. All right. Well, I. Anton. Bruce. Oh, cool. It has been. Oh, it has been too long. I missed you, Lapa. I missed you and all, babe. How are you keeping? You know me. I'm always fabulous. But what about you, Lapa? Why are you wearing a mask? Oh, it's a disguise. It's name me first choice, but I needed a disguise. Ah, I see, I see. That means you're all set. You know, for plan S. I, the plan. We'll travel to Sky Garden and steal the pebble of Squeen right from under Duke Josh's nose. You make it sound easy, Lapa. But still, you know... We lack thieving experience, so I was thinking, maybe we could get third-party member. Someone who is expert? Oh, an accomplice. That's a fab idea. This pub houses all sorts of neds and rogues. I bet there's a natural thief among us right now. Give me a minute, babe. I'll ask around. Good luck. All right, well, I guess we're going to be Bruce now, not going to meet with the king, and we're going to try to find a third for our heist that Bruce is planning with his boyfriend. So, a uh, lot to uncover there, but I am going to end this one here for the day. Guys, if you did like this one and you want to see where this awesome game goes, be sure to like, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And, of course, I want to thank all of my members. Right now, I've got two members. That's right, Rainbow Chicken Live has joined Spinning to Win in the members circle. So, if you guys want to join the cool kids club and get access to the private discord custom emojis and a shout out at the end of every video be sure to click the members tab and join i sure do appreciate all the support i've been getting thank you so much again spinning to win and rainbow chicken live for both being members i'll see you guys next time mm, bye